What's going on functional bodybuilding family? I am here to describe to you and give you some progression instructions for the knees over toes split squat, also known as the ATG split squat, which stands for ass to grass. This was popularized by my friend Ben Patrick, the knees over toes guy. So why are we including this into functional bodybuilding? Because first and foremost, learning how to full knee bend is something that is critical to longevity in your knees, in your hips, in your ankles. So health as well as strength. It's great for athleticism. It's great for training in the gym. And therefore it's important that we learn how to do this properly and safely. Now within our programs, you may see this coming up in lots of different forms, but it's important that you understand where we start with at the base and where we progress. So the ATG split squat is this movement where I take a split stance and I perform a full split squat where I try and aim to get my hamstring to fully cover my calf. If I put my hand right between these two parts of my leg, I'm smashing it. I'm trying to keep my heel down. I'm keeping the back leg off the ground, tall torso. So this puts stretch on the ankle, knee, and the hip flexor of this side. Now, just to get into that position, we start for many people with assistance up on an elevated surface. You're gonna be restricted and limited by various mobility uh, limitations that you have, whether it be in the ankle, in the knee, in the hips. If you have knee pain, we wanna do this at a pain-free level. That's how you progress, that's how you get stronger. So a pain-free level might look like holding on to the squat rack with your foot up. This is going to make it less of a mobility challenge and we're starting with getting the heel way off the ground. The first goal is getting full knee bend with no pain, covering that calf with the hamstring and then using the support of this to come back up. The other way you could do this is if you had a PVC pipe in your hand, you could balance yourself right back up to standing. Once you've been able to get that full knee bend, then the next thing we wanna start doing is progressing down to the ground. So we could get into a shorter box or we could go directly down to the floor. And again, we could still be doing this with support and I can still do it with my heel off the ground. All right, that's okay. Once you start to get confident in doing this with no support on your hands, now you've reached kind of the foundational level that we're gonna start to progress from, potentially with load. After you've done that, one of the obstacles that you may find is that you can't get much of a stretch down here because you're restricted through your own mobility limitations. Graduating to a loaded version of the ATG split squat or the knees over toes split squat is gonna help you sink deeper into this. So the first loading progression that we have is dumbbells in the suitcase position. So we hold them at our sides. And now when I get to the bottom of this, I am now working on the next level of mobility progression, which is getting my heel to stay on the ground while I still have that full calf and hamstring coverage. Note that my back leg doesn't touch the floor. So the back knee is not supposed to touch the ground. Keeping that back leg straight in the back gluteal muscle tensed is gonna get you a big stretch in that hip flexor of that side. And here I'm trying to stay tall and I'm using these dumbbells to help me sink down into this position, get the stretch, keep that heel connected to the ground as close as I can and back up. When you can confidently do that with roughly 20 to 25% of your body weight in each hand, then you can start to consider loading progressions that are more complex. A loading progression that would be more complex would be using the barbell. The barbell could be on your back or in the front rack position and you would still aim for all of the points of performance that we just discussed. We can't lose any of these points of performance because we're trying to go more complex with the loading. If you find yourself in one of our programs and the prescription says back rack ATG split squat, please know that that always can be regressed back down. Just because it says back rack ATG split squat or knees over toes split squat doesn't mean that that's the required loading pattern for the day. 
find the right loading pattern or the right variation and regression that's going to allow you to get the most out of this exercise, enhance your mobility, get stronger, bulletproof your knees, and soon enough, you'll be loading as much as you want to in this movement. Good luck.